we shut it off down there at the knob. We disconnected it here with the uh, slip joint pliers. Now we can separate the toilet tank from the base assembly. Toilet, make sure you hold the valve down all the way manually until all the water drains out of the tank on the back. And then once that drains out, you know, if you wanted to, you could take some old rags or a little vacuum pump and sop up the water that's still in the back. I don't want to use a good towel to do that with because it's got that blue dye in there. And down here on either side of the drain, there's a pair of brass bolts with a slotted head screw on top. We used a long screwdriver to hold the bolts steady while reaching around underneath the tank with the half inch deep set socket to remove the nuts that hold the tank onto the back of the bowl. So now we're going to take and remove the bolts, washers, and gaskets off of this. All right, you can see where the leak was at on the left side here. The blue dye shows us clearly where the leak was. But over on the right side, we see a little bit of evidence of a leak too. All new hardware. If we flip it up, we'll be able to see the two bolts that come through. The worn out gasket and the water supply inlet. I'll just take that and gently pop it off. You can see how it's totally decayed and worn away. And this is about, I keep thinking, well, you know, it's not that old. It shouldn't be bad. It's been on here about 21 years. So that's how old this toilet is. It's been in here and we've never changed the gasket on it. So that's that makes bad. that makes sense. That would be bad. And how much was the new one? So nine dollars and fifty cents, I believe. Yeah, that's not bad. And I'll put a link in the description to Amazon where you can order the stuff if you need to. But support your local hardware store also is important to do. So that's what I would recommend. Especially when you never know you might need it in a hurry. That's right. After a thorough cleaning, we've installed the new mounting bolts through the tank with rubber washers on top and bottom and the jam nuts on the bottom which is not the way the original American Standard hardware works it has a, originally had a rubber insert that goes all the way through pops out and then goes into the bottom of the toilet bowl which I think I like that better but this is the way they've got this one set up so we're going to use it our next step is to put the new donut gasket on get it lined up over the threads and push it down all the way so you don't see any of the rectangular flange underneath. It's got to cover that whole white area. Flip the water tank back over, carefully set it in place, and attach it from the bottom using the wing nuts and washers supplied in the kit. It helps to have someone push down a little bit on the tank while you're tightening the wing nuts down. That gives you a little extra pressure to help compress the new donut gasket.